Yeah, my name is Christian, uh, Christian Klesse. I'm a reader um, in sociology at Manchester Metropolitan University. Uh, my chosen writer, my second chosen writer is uh, Maria Palotokia Rolli, um, who is um, a scientist, a social scientist, um, but who also has um, published um, work of fiction. Um, Maria Palotta Chiaroli's research is um, on issues around consensual non-monogamy, bisexuality, um, queer families, and I think her novel, um, I Love You Too, is an am amazing piece of work which, um, which brings to a wider audience a lot of the issues she has also captured as, um, as a as a reflective um, and critical um, researcher. I Love You Too um, is actually spelled I Love You, T-W-O, I Love You Too. And it um, is a book written for um, teenagers, adolescents, and explores from a young teenager's point of view this teenager's reactions to finding out that her mother has um, multiple relationships, is in fact in relationship with um, two men, um, Pina's father, the, uh, the girl which is at the center of the story is called Pina, Pina's father, um, and another so-called alleged family friend. And um, Pina goes um, through um, a lot of um, trouble and uh, resentment and anger uh, when she finds out what she perceives to be um, a betrayal of, um, of the family. Um, being shocked about finding out about um, the kind of true relationship um, configuration which underpins her family. Um, she also visits other fam family mem members. Um, in this case, it's an uh, Australian-based story. She visits an uncle in Melbourne, and uh, only to find out um, that her uncle actually is um, a bisexual man who, uh, for long periods of his life, um, maintained um, sexual relationships with men, even if now he's in um, a relationship with a woman. So um, this novel is excellent and it covers issues of um, passing, complex um, um, identities. Um, actually, um, the girl's family is an Italian-Australian family, so there's also a kind of very um, a deep engagement with questions of um, cultural difference, cultural specificity, um, and so on. All that written in a very accessible way, um, addressed um, to teenagers and young people, and I think it's an amazing piece of writing.